Hey guys, welcome back to Lovely Plus Three. Oh my good Lord, Jesus. Back for another video so I could finish clearing the back of the shed. I had some nice quiet time today after church. My little ones, my little ones are still asleep. My oldest child, she didn't know walk around someone, but she better be ready for this because baby, she gonna be picking up this trash. And I made sure I came out early enough so I can actually get done what I need to. I'm not going to cut the yard today because surprisingly it still looks decent, but I am going to go and trim everything up. Oh, here you go. I am going to go trim everything up. So let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get started. Look at this nonsense here. Okay, let me get my machete too. One of my favorite Trying to get it. <laughs> I know I'll be out here every Sunday with this machete. Huh? I don't know. Hopefully, it ain't trying. Poison ivy. You know that, right? So all this is poison ivy? I don't know about that. I think that's poison ivy. You, know I mean? you gotta be careful. Okay. Cause it, maybe not. I hope not. Because I cut all that down last week and I'm trying to clear behind here. One of my neighbors came in. That right there kind of freaked me out.
Okay, that was hard. Mm. Oh, that tastes good. Can you believe that my little kids are still sleeping? And it's almost 7 o'clock. Their bedtime is at 8.30. Oh, God. They're going to be up for a while tonight. Let's see what we can do. It's a downed wire over there, so I'm kind of scared. I don't want to take any chances with it. You know what's so funny is I was going to title this video, Where Are the People That Cut Your Yards For Free? Like, high key. And then as I'm out there doing my yard today, this guy, he says that he lives there, but I've never seen him before. He says he rents a room or whatever. He came down and finished chopping down most of my tree for me. And I was highly appreciative, but we got to talking and whatever. And um, he was telling me that, you know, we go to the same church. Today's message was really amazing, which it was really amazing. But what I found funny is um, he said that he doesn't date women or he doesn't like to date women that have children. Yeah, he has a son. And I said, I don't date men that don't have kids, because if you don't have kids, then you can't understand the sacrifice that it takes for children, my time is limited. My kids are my first priority. And I feel like if you don't have kids, you kind of like just don't understand that. So I just rather not even deal with it altogether. And then he was saying that he doesn't believe in therapy, that he believes that God can do everything that he needs to do, which I believe. And I said, um, if you had cancer, would you trust God to heal you through the treatment? Or would you just 100% no treatment rely on God? He was like, I would seek treatment. And still believe God. And I said, but why when it comes to our mental health, people don't seek treatment, but say they're trusting God. Make it make sense. You can have Jesus and a therapist. OK, it doesn't make you less than a Christian to go and seek help from a professional. I'm so tired. That I can barely lift my arms. So didn't want to end like this but this is how it's gonna end tonight because baby your girl is tired Oof. praise the lord praise the lord but i do want to leave you with this what is talk about dan church 
Don't Look Back. And they talked about um, Lot's wife. How she looked back and she became a pillar of salt. And how you got to keep your eyes on what's in front of you. You got to stay zoned in. Zoned in on what God has called you to do. No matter how weary you may get. You got to stay focused on what's important and what God has called you to do. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. Lovely Plus 3, just a woman out here trying to make a living and get this house together. Until next time, God bless you.